Hey, Home Church, Pastor Nate here, bringing to you this week our prayer scripture of the week. Another week full of holidays and probably stuff, and maybe you're enjoying some time off, or maybe you're just kind of wrapping things up as we get ready for 2021. But I pray that this finds you healthy and whole. We are praying for you, and we're actually going to take a scripture out of my sermon. So now what? If you missed that on Sunday, that was the title of my message. Go back and watch that. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to walk that out with you. But go with me if you can to 2 Peter chapter 3. We're going to go to verse number 9. I believe there's some really good things in here that we can pull out that really speak to us as we turn the corner here and think about 20. 21. As always, we'd love to hear your story. You can fill out a connect card and let us know more about your story and how we can support that story on our website, homechurch217.com, or you can download our app, Home Church 217, and you can find all of that same information right there. But we would love to hear where you are. How did you get here? And how can we support you and what God is saying for your life? And at the same time, we'd also love to just connect with you. Have you come see us at one of our in-home worship gatherings, whether here in Destrehan or at our home church in Metairie with Pastor Todd and Pastor LaDonna? You can also just join our messaging group. Just kind of get your feet wet, get to know people. There, there are tons of messaging groups right there within our app where you can meet people or give prayer requests or let us know how we can best support you or even just answer your questions about who are we and how do we get here. You can also find that on our website, homechurch217.com, where we tell our story and where we're going and what we're envisioning for God to do in our lives and what we hope he's doing in your life. I hope now that you found 2 Peter chapter 3, verse number 9. Let's put it on the screen and talk through it right now. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Isn't that amazing that our God is not slow? He didn't forget about you. We all go through moments where we, we wonder out loud sometimes. Has he forgot about me? I had a conversation with Pastor Todd about four or five years ago now, and we sat outside one of my favorite coffee shops in the city and we were having coffee and, and talking and, and I remember verbalizing to him maybe for one of the first few real times of saying I think you forgot about me I, I literally think that he dumped me here and then like it was like uh, I'm over here doing this other stuff I forgot about that guy over there and sometimes we go through that sometimes we think our spouse has forgot about us or our friends have forgot about us or family has forgot about us or maybe my job has forgotten about me and the hard work I put in we just feel not seen and not heard and this is an encouragement to us in second Peter that he is not slow to fulfill his promise but he will fulfill them if he spoke something over you he did not forget about you he knows exactly where you are he knows exactly what you are doing and he is redeeming your story to be closer to him to co-labor with him to walk this out with him and his promises are yes and amen they will come to fruition in your life because he is patient towards us I love that my father is patient because I need it. I need him to be patient with me. I am stubborn and rebellious and I'm hard headed and I am just frustrating sometimes, but he is not. He is patient. He's understanding. He's loving. He's patient with me. And he's patient with me so that there would be a repentance in my life, a turning away from me, putting myself not under self-governance where I want full control, but under his governance where whenever I give him that, he actually gives it back and offers me to walk this out with him every single day in a co-laboring of sorts, a walking this out together, of tapping into what I know is inside of me and aligning that with his love, promises, and strategy that he has for my life that can be found in the word of God. As we turn the corner and look towards 2021, no matter what it brings, no matter what happens, no matter what comes at you, know that God's promises are not done. He is not slow. He is not forgotten about you. His promises are yes and amen. 
and they will be done in your life. I hope that's an encouragement to you. I know it's an encouragement to me. Let's pray through this scripture. Let's remind ourselves, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, that God is not slow to fulfill his promises, but he will fulfill them. He's going to fulfill them for you. He's going to fulfill them for me. And then we're going to worship together in excitement of what God is doing in our lives. We're praying for you this week. Have a safe new year. We cannot wait to meet with you again every Monday night here in Destrahan, 630. An amazing meal, some awesome worship, some great fellowship. And then we just crack open the word of God and walk through it together. And then in Metairie on Wednesday nights at 630 with Pastor Todd and Pastor LaDonna. We'd love to meet with you. We'd love to get to know you and just kind of walk this out with you. And if you want to do that, come grab our app, come grab our website, just let us know and come meet us. We're praying for you, praying that 2021 is just going to be the year of purpose, that we all walk in that purpose in 2021. Praying for you. Can't wait to see you next time. Until then, God bless.